what is 3D printing? So 3D printing is basically this design on a computer that allows them to create anything that you possibly can imagine. I mean, they design golf balls. They can design anything from basically toys to weapons. So weapons are a big thing with uh, 3D printing. You see a lot of people like acquire guns these days. A lot of that comes from 3D printing and like people have a hard time tracking them. That is why it happens. Uh, another thing is video games. You see a lot of design for video games through 3D print. People can create little statuettes, things that go into the game that give it kind of that character. 3D printing helps with that as well. 3D printing also helps with uh, prosthetic arms, prosthetic body parts, and a lot of that comes from the design of building human body parts inside the system that allows a 3D print to show up as a human body part. Uh, moving forward, you've also got tools. Um, tools are easily designed through 3D print. Uh, these can apply to almost anything. Basically, we are finding ways to really create new technology faster, and it helps us build things faster as well. I'll be talking about the history behind 3D print and some of the key players that were involved in developing 3D printing the way we see it today. This is Chuck Hole. He is known as the father of 3D printing. He was born May 12, 1939. He is the current EVP of Chief Technology Officer of 3D Systems, and without him, this thing wouldn't even exist. This is S. Scott Crump. He was basically the designer and manufacturer of the patent for FDM technology, fused deposition modeling. Basically what he did with his wife is they allowed for the machines to do direct digital manufacturing, which led to rapid manufacturing of many items that you see. This is Biomesh Joshi. He is the current 3D system CEO and president and former executive sponsor for all HP operations and initiatives in India. The medium is the message. So this is McLuhan's idea that things that create a message are often uh, components of research that go into basically changing something. The medium is this thing that designs everything else and gives everything else a purpose. Therefore, it is the medium, but it is also the message. And the message is that basically you have this object that can do many things and it allows other things to exist and do many things as well. So the development and sense of community, it grows within from this uh, manifestation of 3D printing. I mean, you have engineers, you have scientists, people studying just what the ramifications and effects are of being able to 3D print things. And so far, all looks from, you know, other than guns, it seems to be a pretty positive uh, turn in the century. I mean, you've got materials being made to build homes, materials being made from wood to metal. These things are 3D printed because they have the script on their computers to do so. It allows us to build technology in ways that we never imagined and faster than ever before. Taking a look at uh, history, you see how 3D print basically has changed the game. I mean, the biggest thing on our planet is resources. The world doesn't have an abundant amount. Uh, everything is, you know, finite. It can all run out eventually. It can all dry up eventually. Oil, water, everything. So it really is interesting to see how 3D print has helped not only replicate materials, but given us opportunities that we never thought possible, uh, making it able to produce materials faster and build things in ways that we never imagined. Uh, for example, like just replicating something that would normally take a lot of water to build or a lot of oil to build or a lot of metal to build if we were able to replicate those pieces with technology not only would the technology be better probably safer it would be easier on our planet and help our planet out looking into the transformation uh, how this particular item has affected my life uh, 3d printing obviously I don't necessarily own a 3d printer myself but just seeing the things around me that 3D printers affect, I mean, almost everything I interact with is created from a 3D printer. The laptop I'm using right now to build this presentation, my cell phone, people don't know these things, but half of the parts 
used for laptops are built from a 3D printer. I mean, that all comes from what Apple's technology and what they have access to. They've got a wide variety of access to 3D printing, and that allows them to be so advanced, and they also create it for much cheaper than they sell their products for, but hey, everyone's got to make a living. So taking a look at the message that's being sent by how this product was designed, 3D printers were designed specifically to enhance productivity, uh, speed up the time it takes to build things, and just find a way to get a finite number of parts. This allows us to make many things through technology. Um, the change that comes from it, uh, the tech and its invention, I mean, it is something that is able to make prosthetic arms, they're able to make parts for many materials come from uh, the parts they build, and that's just one of the ways the 3D printer has just fast forwarded the timeline of being able to achieve things and build things far more advanced than we ever thought possible. I mean, in the early years of 1995, uh, when I was born, like, a 3D printer was unheard of. I mean, you were still living in, like, what now would be you know, an age where in a way to entertain your kids, you take them to the park or you do something like that. Uh, yeah. So according to engineering.com, they talk about how the 3, 3D printer and how it basically is taking over the marketplace and basically targeting consumers. So they're wondering how would this affect everything. In the article, they talk a lot about just what exactly the 3D printer possesses uh, in terms of what materials it can build. But the fact that they could one day get to a point where the 3D printer is what provides that service and that product all in one for the consumers. So we're getting to that point now where like Amazon, they're, you know, they're expanding, they're huge, they're getting the fastest delivery service going and they're making a lot of money while doing it. This is only possible because Amazon has their message and the culture of their team. So the culture of the 3D printing press, I mean the 3D printing machine, the 3D printer basically designs the materials so that people can access it in a way that they never thought possible. So the ramifications of the 3D print. So I don't really see uh, right now, obviously, what there could be as far as like ramifications. Obviously, like 3D printing has been used to make parts for guns, so it does contribute to violence, but I mean, that it's not the 3D print itself, it's so much the people who use the 3D print to make that technology. So that does lead some concern that people are using it to design things that probably aren't for the best, but it still happens anyways. Um, definitely something should be checked into about like maybe how to regulate them, how to run processes and background checks to allow people to have access to them, things like that that would help kind of mediate and mitigate the, the process uh, so there's less ramifications of the 3D print being used to print, let's say, like bombs, handguns, things like that. So the future impact of 3D printing um, basically, just from our week seven readings alone, I kind of developed an understanding of like what is this disruptive technology, um, things like that about disruptive technology. Um, I mean, we've got people working on so many different things, but the 3D printer alone is going to bring us to a world where there could potentially be less jobs, um, less people working because this 3D printer is able to provide services and items and materials that we no longer have to use people to get those items or materials. And the idea that we're able to acquire things by making it out of almost nothingness, but a little bit of you know materials that go into making it. But essentially you get this, you get to this point where it's just established that you can make something with a 3D print or you can put money into paying people to get the labor hours. It takes longer to get things out of people when they work for it as opposed to a 3D printer which it works as fast as it possibly can for the way it's built. Uh, I think it's going to lead to less jobs available for people, for humans, 
and more work being done into building these 3D printers. So you'll have jobs uh, for people who are able to engineer and design these things, but for other people, who knows? Yeah.